Hello, I'm Rachel Porter. In this Awaken Learning video, we will learn four fabulous Google Sheet add-ons for teachers. If you're not familiar with add-ons, they are simple software programs that work within your Google products and can give you some additional features you didn't have before. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to find and install them on your Google Sheets. This is a popularity contest, so let's start with everyone's favorite, Flubaroo. This awesome add-on will let you turn a Google form into an assessment that grades itself. You can create your quiz or test in a Google form and send it to your students. Then go to the response spreadsheet and ask Flubaroo to grade it for you. Then Flubaroo will ask you how each question should be graded. You'll need to have taken your own quiz and then you'll select your responses to use as the grading key. Then, before you've even had a chance to find your red pen, Flubaroo has your assessment graded for every student in a new tab on your Google Sheet, and you get lots of additional information, such as average class points, highlighting of low-performing students, and you can set that threshold, by the way, and the average score for each question. Finally, you can have Flubaroo send the results to your students by email or Google Drive. The next add-on I want to show you is Doctopus. This is a workflow tool that allows you to distribute, organize, and assess student work in Google Drive. You'll make an assignment template, and Doctopus will create copies for students with the sharing permissions that you choose, organized in folders and with a spreadsheet hub for management. My favorite feature is its ability to send different versions of an assignment to different groups of students or individuals. Differentiation tools are my passion. Now, I will mention that you can do many of the same things with Google Classroom. Doctopus offers several features that you won't find in Classroom, but that also comes with a little less user friendliness. I would suggest that anyone who is easily frustrated with learning new tech or isn't very familiar with Google Drive should probably start with the simpler Classroom option. It would also give you an interface for announcements and discussions, which you won't have with Doctopus. If you aren't interested in those features and are a little more experienced, go check out Doctopus. Here's a link that will show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two systems. Our third add-on we'll look at today is Autocrat. This is a slick merging tool that creates PDFs or docs from spreadsheet data. Here's an example. I created the certificate in Docs and inserted merge tags where I want to pull data from a spreadsheet. I use a Google Form to collect the data. In my response sheet, I can then tell Autocrat which information in my spreadsheet matches those merge tags in my doc. I can also tell Autocrat the format and sharing preferences I want. With the settings I chose, my conference attendees will fill out their feedback form and automatically receive an email message with their PGP certificate attached. Autocrat instantly created the certificate and emailed it to them for me. Sweet. The last add-on I'm going to show you today is very simple and won't take a lot of time to explain, but I've used it so many times it's worth mentioning. Split names. Have you ever had a spreadsheet, maybe an export from your student management system, where you have your names listed all together, first, last, maybe even middle initial or middle name, and you want those in separate columns for whatever it is you are attempting to do with your students. And so you spend forever going in here and taking out Edward and moving it over to this column and renaming things. Let me show you what you can do with split name. All I have to do is select what I want to split, go to my add-on, Tell it that my column has a header. I want first and last name split. And ta-da! That simple. I love it. So how do you find and get and install these awesome add-ons that you just learned about? Well, it's very, very simple. Within any spreadsheet you have, just go to the add-ons menu and click on get add-ons. This will open your kind of store to browse through and see what you're looking for or to search for something specific. When you find what you want, you click on it and you'll click the plus free, hopefully. Some of them are paid, um, but you'll click this little button to get it. It'll take you through some permissions and you will need to allow. And then you'll usually receive some sort of indication that it has been installed. From this point forward, 
GMath for Sheets, um, which is another great add-on, by the way, um, is going to be in my add-ons menu, and it'll be there for every spreadsheet I open in Google Drive. So you don't have to go through that process every time. Once you've added the add-on, it'll be available in any spreadsheet. Super easy. I hope you found something useful here. Please contact me if there's any way I can help you awaken learning for students.